Welcome to the third episode of my weekly podcast, Soul Ventures. Episode 3, Wardrobe Whispers. Have you ever opened the wardrobe to be met with groaning shelves and overflowing racks and declared, I have nothing to wear? Despite all the evidence to the contrary, nothing seems to really speak to you and you just feel that nothing will look right on you. If you're in a place where you're feeling a bit low after the excesses of the festive period and feel like something's missing in your life, then this is the podcast for you. I'm here to take your hand and help you find your true colours. I'd like you to think of this podcast as a kind of travel guide for the soul. If you're listening to this, then we have already connected and you're in the right place. There is a language that you already know how to speak, but you might have forgotten. When you understand this language better, you will have access to a wealth of information that will make your journey here on Earth much more enjoyable. I'm Jenny Wilson, Travel Guide for the Soul, and I invite you to join me on an expedition to discover what your soul is yearning to tell you. And the best part? You can do this right now without buying a whole new wardrobe of holiday clothes by sitting down with a nice cup of tea and settling in for the journey. Once you start exploring with me, you'll reconnect with the true essence of you. That's what makes you, you. And you will realise that wherever you are on this round, beautiful planet, all roads lead you home. So let's enjoy the ride. Are you ready? Part 1. A New Beginning If I asked you to complete the following sentence, New Year... dot dot dot, what words would you choose? At this time of year, there's a fair chance that you would have used something along the lines of New Me or... Something like that. This is the time of year that we are either in full swing of our New Year health kits or have given it all up as a bad job and resolved to try again next year. I have good news for you. There is no need to worry about the best way of creating a new you. Your amazing body already knows what to do. Your incredible body, the house of your soul, is constantly working to renew your cells, pump your blood and beat your heart, as well as filling your lungs with air, so that you can go about your business without even thinking about any of these things. How do I ensure that my fingers grow at just the right rate, or my skin renews itself at the right time, or even that my endocrine system produces just the right cocktail of hormones to keep me ticking over. Well, I don't even need to worry about it. The intelligence of my body takes over and knows exactly what to do. I don't need to consciously control these processes. In fact, it's probably just as well my conscious brain doesn't have anything to do with the process because... I would be constantly niggling at it to change this or add that or try doing it this particular way and so on. We can trust the intelligence of our bodies to know exactly what they're doing. I came across an amazing fact several years ago that I remember to this day. Every 10 years, our skeletons are completely renewed and replaced. Ten years from now, you will have built yourself a brand new body from the inside out. The subconscious part of us, I think, is where all the magic happens. But sometimes, more often than not, in many cases, our conscious brains take over and drown out what our subconscious wants us to know. Part 2. Feast your eyes. 
let's imagine that it's first thing in the morning and you've opened your wardrobe or chest of drawers or cupboard or pile of washing in the corner of the room or however you like to organise your clothes. You are deciding what to wear for the day. Do you find yourself reaching for the same combinations of items time after time? Or do you feel that as you look at what's available, nothing really inspires you and you grab whatever is to hand and then get dressed with a rather than a zing? How you feel matters. If you'll allow me, I can help you put the spring back in your step and show you how you can feel much more zingy in these dark January mornings. The secret is colour. Colour can change how we feel. When we change the way we feel, we change the way we respond to situations. This can change how people respond to us. If we're feeling low on energy and in need of a boost, let your eyes tell you what you need. When we look at colours, we are literally feeding our subconscious on an energetic level by absorbing these various frequencies. And by the way, You will respond to the frequencies of colours even if you have a visual impairment because colour works at an energetic level, not just visually. Part 3. What to wear today? See if you can resonate with this for a minute. You're feeling a bit peckish and quite fancy something to eat. You're not necessarily in the mood for anything elaborate or fancy, just a little something to fill the gap for now. You open the fridge and have a look, but nothing really leaps out at you. You open a cupboard and again, nothing seems right, so you might go back to the fridge, have a little piece of cheese or something, maybe a yogurt, or you might wander over to the biscuit barrel. Nothing really seems to fill the gap. And you get this sort of feeling of dissatisfaction. You might feel a little bit more meh than before and not at all really at your most sparkly best. It's exactly the same principle as when you're opening your wardrobe and declaring you have nothing to wear. What it means is that you are missing something on an energetic level. Something that can be filled with a particular colour, be that orange or an orange, for example. Colour is light and light is energy. In fact, everything is energy. Every colour has its own particular energetic frequency and we instinctively respond to these vibrations. You may find that you have a colour preference at a particular time. Absorbing food is the same. Absorbing colours is like food for the soul. If you are surrounded by a sea of beige all the time, from the clothes you wear to the food you eat, then you must imagine all the magic of full spectrum life. Have a think and see what the predominant colour is in your wardrobe is. How do you feel about wearing colour? I'm not talking head to toe in bright pink or green, but just little splashes of colour. I'm adding this to what you wear on a day-to-day basis, perhaps in the form of a tie or a scarf or a top. I don't know if you know the poem Warning or Johnny Joseph, but I've always loved it. It begins, When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple with a red hat that doesn't go and doesn't suit me. And the rest of the poem paints a picture of rules and expectations of us that the poet thinks are only able to be 
disregarded when she's older than she is now. Well, I think there's no law that says we can't wear purple now. Why on earth not? And if you want to wear a red hat, I say absolutely wear that red hat right now and rock it. If you want to wear purple, wear purple. Your soul might be calling out to you to do so. And if you've ever felt a real attraction to a particular shade, then I have something just for you. I've written a free ebook called The Hidden Language of Colour What Your Soul is Trying to Tell You. It's available to download from my website, www.iamjennywilson.com, and will explain exactly what your particular colour preference means for you. You might be surprised. So, there we have it. The key points from today's episode are you have a wealth of intelligence within your body that is continually working on your behalf. When you feel as though you don't have a thing to wear, perhaps your soul is crying out for a particular colour. Colours are a way to connect to what your soul wants to tell you at a particular moment and that you are drawn instinctively to the energetic frequency of a particular colour because your subconscious wants you to feed your soul. You have so much inner wisdom available to you when you tap into your subconscious and listen to what it wants to tell you. I'm here to help you remember it. My intention over the course of these episodes is to get you back on track so that you can enjoy the rest of your journey here on Earth. Add a little more colour into your wardrobe and see how it makes you feel. RuPaul once said, The whole point of life is to live and be, to use all the colours in the crayon box. Next time you open your wardrobe, see what your subconscious wants to tell you. And if you really dive deeply in, we'll meet you in Narnia. Or you can read my Hidden Language of Colour ebook, whichever you prefer. In the next episode, I'll be talking more about what your soul wants you to know. Until then, happy travelling. If you enjoyed this episode, you're very welcome to subscribe to my podcast. If you know somebody else who might be interested in it, feel free to share it with them. To find out more, visit my website, www.iamjennywilson.com. Here you can find details of how you can download my free PDF ebook, Language of Colour. Go to iamjennywilson.com and follow the free ebook link. Or you can follow me on Instagram at I am Jenny Wilson. Let's reconnect next time and explore more of the universal language of the soul. In the meantime, keep expanding and enjoy the journey.